If you have a Squarespace website and you're walking through my pre-launch checklist, welcome back. And if you don't have a copy of the checklist yet, I'll drop a link in the description below so you can grab it. You probably just watched the video on setting up a blog on Squarespace. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to style the post pages. That's where each individual post lives in your blog and the styling that you apply to one will apply to all. I'm here in my Sway template for service providers and let's go ahead and dive into the blog and I'll show you how to style those blog posts. So this template has a blog already set up. In a previous video, I talked about how to style the blog overview page, but now we're gonna hop into blog content. So this template has some demo posts or you can start a new one by clicking the plus icon. But for our purposes today, just for styling, I'm going to jump into one of these posts. When you're ready to style your post page, know that this will apply to every post in your blog. So you only have to do this once. I'm gonna click edit in the upper left and there are a couple of options here for editing the section. We've got format and then colors. Format has a lot of options here. We're just gonna walk through each one. So for content width, I love narrow. And the reason why, you can see if I make this wide, your reader's eye has to travel really far left to right. You can think about newspapers and how they're laid out in narrow columns. So it's easier on your eye to read. It helps keep readers more engaged. People are mostly skimming. So content width narrow is my favorite, but you have some options here. Next, we have text alignment. Now, this is just for the header of your blog post. So if I click center, you'll see that my metadata and my title are centered now. Your post itself is always going to be left aligned unless you change that in your text settings here. And I recommend keeping it left aligned. Again, just make it easier for your readers to read. But for the text alignment, Follow your heart. There's not a right or wrong option there. I like left sometimes. Sometimes I like centered. Depends on the brand. Next up, we have meta position. This is what you see here, the date and the author. Other meta information could be categories. So if this blog post had categories, they would appear here as well. And you can either put this above or below the title. Again, whatever feels right for your brand. We have an option here of the metadata we want to show. So categories, this one doesn't have any, so you don't see them here, but you can toggle them on or off, date on or off, author name on or off. And then this one is kind of odd. It's author profile, and it actually appears here and links to your Squarespace profile. Typically for blogs where it is just your website and you are writing the blog, I turn off author profile and author name. But for display purposes today, for the next thing, I'm going to leave author name on because I want to show you delimiter style. This is what goes in between your metadata. So you can have a bullet, a pipe, a dash, or just a space. Again, whatever makes sense for your brand. I usually go with bullets. I think they're friendly and they're a really nice delimiter. It doesn't look like text. And finally, we've got header spacing. This is the distance between the metadata and title and your blog post. It's usually pretty big in Squarespace, but I prefer it to be somewhere between 10 and 20. So 10 is the minimum here. But again, whatever makes sense for your brand, you can keep it a little more spacious or a little tighter. I like for it to feel like it goes together. So I typically just crank it down to 10. All right, that is it for formatting the post itself. The other thing that you can do here is change the color. So again, this will just apply your color theme to the section and I'll go ahead and just make it lightest one, really high contrast, easy to read. And when you're done, just go ahead and click save and exit. And then let's look at another post and you can see that those same options were applied to this post. So again, you only have to do it once. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up as it helps other people discover my videos. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best with your website.